Welcome back to on my YouTube class guys I'm Anjit Rawat your online instructor and in this class I'm going to help you how you can perform bulk enrollment device over Intune portal apart from the bulk enrollment we have a multiple method to enroll our device directly to the Intune portal like MDM URL can help you to enroll with the help of company portal we can enroll any kind of remote devices but it's really important for every Intune engineer you should know about the procedure how we can perform the task of bulk enrollment. So this class is dedicated for the bulk enrollment. Means I'll give you the complete information from the basic, basic in the sense like you should know about the prerequisite and after that we'll show you the steps that help you to enroll it. I'm moving ourselves. This is Microsoft 365 portal and by using the same email ID or you can say that same root account, I'm just going to log in our Intune portal. So for Intune, you just need to type intune.microsoft.com and number of users are already available like GCP and support, Telnet. These all are the users that I have already created in our Microsoft IntraID. This is the panel of Intune. Go to the devices and it will guide you number of devices which are already enrolled with your machine. Meanwhile, I have already installed Windows uh, 11 machine and that will use to create the batch file. Those batch file can help you to perform the bulk enrollment. This is Windows 11 machine and it's totally fresh. Everything is working fine and uh, we are able to access the internet with more than 20 Mbps of internet speed. So all the prerequisites are set. Let me guide you about the prerequisite that you need to keep in your mind before performing the bulk enrollment. You should create one global administrator account just like AD Connect, right? You must need to create one global administrator account and assign the license of Microsoft Intune or any kind of license that contain the feature of Intune, Intune enrollment. Like as a business premium, E5, E3, these licenses are already contain the feature of Intune. If we don't have a business premium or uh, uh, E5 or E3, so you just need to purchase the de uh, dedicated license or you can say that add-on license like Enterprise Mobility and Security E3 and Enterprise Mobility and Security E5. Both types of license are dedicated for the Intune and some additional security. So I have already assigned the license of business premium. Let me show you this is our GCP user and in the properties of GCP user, uh, I have already two different. Uh, I have already assigned two different licenses. One is Microsoft 365 Business Premium, and another is Microsoft Mobility plus Security E5. Right. So this license is dedicated for Intune and Microsoft Defined Security, and this is the package license where we can find the package of Office 365, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams, Yammer, SharePoint. Each and every options are each and every uh, services are involved in this particular license included with Microsoft Intune. That's it. No need to do anything. Back to our on-premises and in on-premises machine, the prerequisites are your system must be logged in through the local administrator and plus your machine must be connected with at least 20 Mbps of internet speed. So I have already fulfilled the all prerequisite. Let's proceed for the installation. Let's proceed uh, for the practical. So what you need to do, you just need to open Microsoft uh, store this is the Microsoft store and here you need to type Windows configuration right you should uh, type Windows configuration designer app yes this is the built-in app which is available in our Microsoft store you just need to open and install it with the help of this particular tool yes by using this particular tool we are able to manage the services. We are able to manage the services of bulk enrollment. Fine, we successfully install and let's launch it. It looks like this. This is the panel where we can create our batch file and then by using the batch file, we'll enroll this machine to Microsoft Intune portal. Provision devices, N number of options are available and each and every options are responsible to perform their own task. I'm going to proceed with provision desktop devices and in this case we just need to select the location. Yes, you need to decide the location where you want to store your uh, application. So let me create. Bulk enrollment, right? You just need to create one folder and click OK. No need to do anything. The folder that I created on the location of desktop just need to click finish. 
it will redirect you on another page see one two three four five six different options required to perform the bulk enrollment activity so let's just start with set up a device so in case of set up device contoso slash contoso hyphen serial number right if you know about the serial number of your devices if you know about the serial number of this particular device you just need to proceed with first option but if you don't know right if you don't know about uh, uh, the serial number of device then you can proceed with the random number so i am just going to proceed with demo bulk yes this is the random name that i am going to select and in the percentage you need to decide the digit i am going to create our uh, resources i am going to uh, uh, create the uh, what we can say that uh, a batch file and this batch file is applicable for four digit means approximately 10000 devices we can enroll by using this particular application the meaning of four it means that four digit automatically will add with your computer name like demo bulk is our pc name and the four digit number automatically add once you enroll any kind of devices right so no need to do anything everything is okay i'm just going to proceed we don't have a product key so let's proceed with next another important part like if, if you have access of yes if you have access related to uh, uh, Wi-Fi connection so you just need to provide the SSID and password type but unfortunately I don't have access of uh, uh, a Wi-Fi because uh, we are using Ethernet cable to access the internet click next this is another important panel account management so under the account management we are able to find three different options enroll into the active directory enroll in Azure active directory and local administrator so yes I wanted to enroll with active directory with Azure you must need to click check mark it refresh AAD credential right it's mandatory you need to perform the task related to the credential now I'm just going to click on get bulk enrollment and in this case you need to provide your global administrator account or you can also use uh, kind of uh, uh, root account it's fully depend upon you so I'm just going to use my root account teach me cloud 389.on microsoft.com right you just need to provide the username and also you must need to provide the password of this particular account done you just need to click ok and wait for a few more minutes continue and it is trying to create the bulk enrollment token successfully created bulk token fetched successfully no need to do anything here you need to provide the local user id and password just need to provide the user id and password click next no need to do anything i don't want to add any kind of application this is the panel where we can add an application and the application will automatically install once you enroll the device so i don't want to do that but in case of you whenever you perform the task please try to install one third party application i don't have any kind of certification so let's proceed and the last option okay some error found in our first step let me check what error we found okay invalid computer name so note 10 issue i'm just going to change the computer name demo and then hyphen percentage okay 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 we just need to use demo bulk uh, actually we need to use the same word right you need to use r a n d random and then colon and then type the digit so yes now it's completed the computer you uh, computer name will be demo bulk and the random four means after the demo bulk you will get four digit everything is okay i'm just going to proceed next 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 and create we successfully created batch file user and this is one drive desktop so the the batch file which is stored by the desktop and this is the folder that we just created so what you need to do let me show you the part cmd 
and check host name what is your computer name host name is desktop fcb 2s p9 right so i'm just going to enroll this device so you just need to store this particular folder and put into the any external storage so i'm just going to store it because by using this particular application we can enroll multiple devices so i'm just going to enroll this machine that we use to create our bulk enrollment application let me test it are we able to enroll or not so once you open this particular folder it will give us option of like just set up it's a batch file double click click yes and it will ask you this package from a source you trust yes add it you just need to add it your machine will be restart and after restart it successfully enrolled to our microsoft intune portal so you should wait for a few more minutes and let's see you will get the information about your virtual machine over our intune portal so this is the method wait for a few minutes our system restarted successfully i'm just going to log in with the help of local administrator account and let's see the impact in our virtual machine so first of all i'm just going to open the setting right just right click on the start menu and click setting and go to the accounts and the and in account panel we just need to click on access worker school your device name successfully reset like demo bulk 8614 uh, that we decided four digit and no need to do anything your device successfully enrolled to microsoft intune portal uh, it will reflect on the intune portal but you should wait for at least 5 minute so five devices are available i'm just going to open it and no information about our device so you just need to wait for 5 minute you will get the information about our new device name the demo bulk uh, 862 no, 8614 like that you will get the information about our device over intune so i'm just going to pause the video and wait for few more minute